Over on board two, it's, as you might expect, pretty much nip and tuck between Mervyn King and Dave Chisnell. Mervyn's just got his nose in front of the back five legs to four, but pretty tight between those two seasoned campaigners. Neil on board one, very tight at the end, just holding his nerve, Christian Kiss given the chance to finish after a frustrated Vincent van der Voort missed any number of match darts. Kiss knows he got away with that one, but he's through. And we'll see him back here in the last 16 tonight. There's the match stats then. Kist just north of 92. Vincent uh, 91 plus two maximums for Van der Voort. Four for Kist. And as ever, perhaps a story of the doubles 39 versus 30 on the percentages. Kist through. What's happening on boards three and four? Well, it being the boiler room, there's an engineer tinkering. His name's Ned Bolton. You know things are getting hot down here when Chris Mason returns to the fray as well. That can only end well, can't it, Chris? Always. Um, so we've got plenty of action going on behind us. We'll come to that in a minute, but it's worth just flagging up who has gone through and a couple of big names have done the business. Um, none bigger, in a way, than Gary Anderson. He's, uh, he's done a bit of a run. He's done a bit of a run. He takes out 100 here to go 3-2 up in a nice showy way. A couple of double tops. Yeah, Always nice to see. player palette as well. You see a lot of him over the next few years. So good, a, good win for Gary. A 9-5 victory. Pretty simple, really, for Gary Anderson against, as you say, a good player in David Pallet. You can tell when Gary Anderson's in the zone, can't you? He gets that kind of passive, yeah. gentle got smile some, about got him. Some swag he? about him. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, he's quite, when he's on, he's, he's beautiful to watch. Absolutely. So it makes it look so easy. Yeah, he does indeed. Um, he's not the only one through. We've also seen Brendan Dolan do the business against Nigel Hayden. 9-7 he won, and he had a little bit of work to do. This 101 checkout made it five all in that game, in some style as well. And then Brendan Dolan game shot. taking out there 101, as I say, to level things at five all, and then Finishing it off, 9-7, pretty comfortable for him. And again, Brendan falls into that category, doesn't he? Mace yeah, he's going about his business quietly. Quietly, under the radar. Yeah, trying to just uh, avoid any of the the major players, but he's, he's always there or thereabouts, Brendan. Yeah. He really is solid. Absolutely. Behind us, we've got Andrew Gilding and Kevin Painter. And that is, um, well, at the moment, it's two apiece. Yep. So that's an interesting one, and isn't it? And qualifier down the end. But down the end, we've got a story developing, I think. Our qualifier, the lad from the West Country, Simon Stevenson, is uh, absolutely flying. When I last looked, he's leading 4-3, and I think that's still the case. 4-3, yeah, someone's nodding behind me there. And every time he takes four, out a leg. Just last Oh, it's just 4 all. <laughs> yeah. Every time he's throwing there... Every time he nails one, there's a huge... Yeah, he's getting, he's getting a following. He's getting a following. He's a local lad, I suppose. He's the only, only local lad left in it. So he's, he's got some massive support. But Chris, he's going to need it, isn't he? Because when you're, yeah. if you're a qualifier and you're mixing it, it's the first time he's been on anything like this kind of a stage. And you look around the practice room and all that's left now, really, are yeah. pucker players. Yeah, but the only one advantage is he hasn't sort of got any... He's not sort of damaged goods. Where, where if you sort of run into a, you know, one of the elite players a few times and they, they sort of bash you up a few times, yep. you've got bad memories. Uh, where he hasn't got that and yep. he's got no pressure, there's no expectation on him and he, he's just loving it. I mean, from, from the very first start he threw yesterday, he 180 in his second throw yesterday in his first game against Dean Jones, he just not looked back. And he, he just looks unflushed, had a quick chat with him, all right, mate, yeah, sound, sound, nothing, just don't care, it's living the dream. Absolutely, four all in his game at the moment, and I suspect that if he does do the business, you'll hear the cheer right the way from the bowels of this operation up to your lofty position up there, Matt. Lofty, that's a nice word, thanks, Ned. Uh, we'll keep you posted, of course, on the local qualifier, Simon, Stevenson, for all as the boys said between Jamie Lewis and Simon Stevenson at the moment. Painter just in front now against Andrew Gilding and 6-4 Mervyn suddenly in front of Dave Chisnell. When our next match on the main stage came out of the draw last night, it shouted louder than one of Chris Mason's shirts. Michael Van Gogh in hot to trot in excellent form, but also Andy Hamilton who never ever lies down for anybody on a darts stage and came from behind, a long way behind at one stage against Yellow Klassen last night to edge it 9-8. Those two are ready to make their entrances. So let's go back to the stage and join your MC, John McDonald. And welcome back to the action that's coming to you live on ITV4 from Butlins, Minehead! Welcome to 
to the fourth round of the Corals UK Open Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, time now to meet our players. It's hammer time! Andy Hamilton! And now, ladies and gentlemen, time to meet the newly crowned champion of the world, mighty Michael and Perhaps the man to beat in world arts right now. Certainly in very fine form, Michael Van Goen. But Andy Hamilton will, as ever, fancy his chances. First man tonight. Just to remind you before we join our commentators, there are two more matches on the stage to bring you this afternoon. Aidan Kirk, who knocked over Phil Taylor last night against Peter Wright. And as an extra bonus later, we'll have Ronnie Hybrecht against A.D. Lewis on the main stage. But these two should capture our attention for the next hour or so. In the box to call it for us. It is Chris Mason and Stuart Pike. Thanks, Matt. Well, if anyone could beat Michael Van Gerwen, Andy Hamilton can. Has a, a really good record against the Dutchman. But the world number one, the world champion, the favourite to win the UK Open this weekend in Minehead. And certainly darts man of the moment, as he has been probably for the last 12 months or so. Uh, but Andy Hamilton, UK Open final last year at the Reebok and survived in a thriller against Jelle Klassen to win in the third round. But Andy Hamilton knows how to beat Michael Van Gerwen. It's funny, isn't it, how players always seem to get drawn against each other and, uh, and play each other more than anybody else. Well, the same can be said uh, for Michael Van Gerwen and for Andy Hamilton. Michael Incredibly, the they have met 36 times. And it's 18 all. That's how close it is. Hamilton knows how to beat Van Gerwen. It's a 25. So, who will edge ahead in their head to head? And will the ball, or throwing for the ball, prove to be absolutely crucial? Well, it may well be. How about that from the hammer? He will get us underway. Straight in the ball. And Andy Hamilton, I wonder if that ball is a sign of things to come, a statement of intent. Hamilton wins the ball and he will get us underway. But he knows how to beat Michael Van Gerwen. 60. <laughs> 59. Well, only 59 from the Dutchman. And yeah, he was he was off the pace in beating James Hubbard, to be fair though. I mean it was it was a, a comfortable win and uh, he didn't really need to be bang on the money, but he will be One against Andy three. Hamilton because Hamilton, on his day when he's firing, will have to bring the best One out of Michael Van Gerwen. Certainly will, and Hamilton will be will be buzzing after that great win over Klassen last night, the, the nine-eight win, because he's stuck in there. 
97. The great one, two, four out for the match. And that sets you up nicely. I would say, I don't think you have your first game, you don't want a comfortable win. 125. You want to be, you want to be pushed. Sets you up, gets you ready for the, the competition. It's a great dart from Hamilton. He's been working pretty hard in the practice room over the last hour or so. Listening to music. Oh, yes. Great darts to put some pressure on. Well, Hamilton. And he is, well, he may get one dart, he may get two darts. But with Van Gogh with Sam on tops, he's going to have to take it. Two darts at, uh, at double eight for the perfect oh, opening. He's, the first well, leg. he's getting Hamilton. the vocal cords exercised early on. 14 darter holes the throw with Van Gerwen sat on tops and the Hamilton roar to signal the first leg of the match. Nightmare is best for players like Van Gerwen because he's not, he's not going to be able to relax and just sort of go through the gears Hamilton's going to be all over the back of Van Gerwen well result coming in from board two and uh, I'm not sure it's a surprise but the margin of victory is Mervyn King 9-4 winner over Dave Chisnell fabulous performance uh, and we understand that King took out 154 to win the match 9-4 King over Chisnell and here Hamilton means business. 57. Well, only 57. Chance here for Hamilton. He fancied this. I, I spoke to him an, an hour or so ago, and he was really up for this. And he won his first title in seven, eight years. Yeah, nearly seven years. Kate and his wife. And... Yeah, Hamilton won one of the UK Open qualifiers, the first one. one that was his first okay. tournament win for nearly seven years. You know what that you know what that feels like. I can't count that far back. It's been a while. 123, Mike Little Bar 64. Hamilton took out 64. To win the opening leg, and Michael Van Gerwen takes out 64 to make it one a piece on throw. Could go the distance, this Chris. Well, we know with Andy, he will grind and growl. 137. Jamie Lewis getting into a, a lead against our Riley's qualifier, Simon Stevenson. 7 4 to young Lewis. Painter leading Gilding. 5 3. Well, Hamilton has beaten Van Gerwen in the Players' Championship on this stage. 134. So. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they always seem to have right royal battles, and I won't well, be surprised if it's Van Gerwen exactly does have that flair, but then he does, he does every now and again go a little bit missing, and he, he goes through a stage where he misses a few doubles, and against a lot of players, he'll be, you know, Hamilton's going to be there on his coattails. Well, important last dart from Van Gerwen to leave a finish. Important moments early in this game. That's the perf perfect dart for Hamilton. How about this, Andy? So close. Oh, Van Gerwen, look at this. Well, he needed the treble 19. The first one was so good, I expected the treble 19. Well, against most players, but against Van Gerwen right now, you wouldn't risk it. What a standard early on in this match. Double eight for Hamilton. Doesn't often miss over this side of the ball. Andy Hamilton. Doesn't miss them. 107 average Van Gerwen. 105 average Hamilton. First 180 of the match from Michael Van Gerwen. 
but Andy Hamilton really, really, he knew he had to start well. That was his pure focus, start well, put a bit of pressure on Van Gerwen. doing that. Four. 80. <laughs> Terrific numbers. Well, you know, I mean, when the draw was made, you know, people were saying, well, not the draw that, that Andy Hamilton wanted, but I can assure you, not the draw that Michael van Gerwen wanted either. And Hamilton's cover shooting on treble 19. I think that's the fourth or fifth time he's come down for cover and hit both in the treble 19. And that augurs well for Hamilton. Very much a confidence player when he's up there. And when he believes, he's very, very difficult to beat. Well, that incredible run of at least quarter-final places in, in TV majors just, just proves how consistent he is. And winning that UK Open qualifier will give him an incredible boost, psychologically. Oh, so much pressure on Van Gerwen. Double 18. Oh, he deals with it so well. High standard. What a great quality. We've seen four fantastic legs of darts. Michael Van Gerwen, 111 and a half average. Andy Hamilton, 110 and a half average. Van Gerwen, perfect on the doubles. Hamilton's only missed one, and that was at the ball 51. for a 170. That's how good this is. Nothing over 15 darts. Everything 22. under so far. How often do you see that when one man starts the leg really poorly? as Andy Hamilton did, and Michael Van Gerwen follows suit after what we witnessed in the, in the previous 10 minutes. It's the fascination of this sport. 135. On throw. And as I say, I, I will 134. We'll look back later on and wonder when they threw for the ball and Van Gerwen hit 25 and Hamilton bang in the middle to win the throw. How important that may prove to be, we shall see. But this is great, great quality. There he goes again. He is missing the treble 19s are doing all the damage here for Hamilton. 170. <laughs> 170 wow. for Van Gerwen, just because he can. <laughs> what a fantastic standard. Yeah, this is a cracking match. 95. Important last dart, wasn't yep. it? Sets him up with a decent finish. Yep. Daphne there, Michael Van Gerwen's fiance. Oh, look at the pressure he's going to be on this. Well, in the first leg, Andy Michael Van Gerwen 86. had left himself tops, and Andy Hamilton took out 64. Michael Van Gerwen has left himself tops to break the throw, and Andy Hamilton will take out 86. I knew it. As soon as that dart went in, you just knew, I knew, that Andy Hamilton was going to take out 86 in two darts. Fabulous standard. 112 average plays 110 average, and Hamilton leads Van Gerwen.
through, bad back or not. He's still standing. Top. And uh, what a match, what a start we've had on the main stage. Set this one up as a cracker, and so it's proved. But that's a bit strange. He has the treble there. You need the double on the back of it for the. Uh, yeah. That's the treble 18. You need the double 16. Four. Mervyn King will be back tonight. Bad back or not, he's still standing. Stretched away from Dave Chisnell to win 9 4. And how about this for a finish? 1 5 4 to get the job done. Hasty. Too good for Chizzy. And Merv will be with us this evening. Well done to him. And what a match we have in prospect here. Fantastic standard already. And the hammer just a leg in front with that terrific finish to hold off Van Gerwen. One of the two qualifiers that were still involved has gone, I'm afraid. Jamie Lewis uh, has beaten Simon Stevenson 9-5. So Jamie will be back with us tonight. And Painter well in front against Andrew Gilding. Seven legs to three in front. We'll keep you posted as we return to the stage. Chris and Stewart. Phenomenal, Matt. Best word to describe it. Phenomenal. Michael Van Gerwen, 112 average, losing. Hasn't missed a dart at a double. 15 scores of 100 or more. Make that 16. Andy Hamilton, 110 average. Three out of four on the double. And the only one he's missed was a shot at the ball for a 170. Ridiculous! 14, 12, 14. The legs won so far from Hamilton. He slots in. First 180 of the match. 90, he, when, do you know when he plays like this, he, 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 he's the first to admit that he can play so well and then it, it, on the floor he can do this, win 6 0, 6 1, and then average 70 in the next match. But he's hit five perfect darts, he's looking at treble 19. First time he's missed it. Well, this, all he'd be bothered about is a break of throw. Yeah. Fantastic oh, response oh, from the world yeah. champion, though. You know, Hamilton, in the opening leg of the match, Van Gerwen had left tops to break. Hamilton took out 64 in two darts. In the fifth leg, crucially, Van Gerwen had left tops to break. And Van Gerwen was sat on tops to break. 80. Michael and Hamilton won, took out 86 in two darts. 84 here. Two at double 12. Double six. Oh. 72, and you require 102. Well, how important will those misses be? Swayze needs a trouble 20. And we can still do it. Trouble 19 for tops, 97 left. No. We're well, disappointed Gerwin, with that. Can't afford to miss here, Chris. Michael, you require 12. Oh, good start. Good aggressive start. Michael, Michael, to the 180. From Hamilton, put the pressure on. But Van Gerwen was up to it. Brilliant 180 from the Dutchman to respond in kind. And the numbers still stacking up. 112.82 Van Gerwen, 110 Andrew Hamilton. 81. Painter leading Gilding, 7-4. Dean Winstanley, 3-1 up on Stephen Bunting. Unlucky, unlucky. Eighty. Nine. 
96. Well, for the first time, Hamilton's throw being challenged. Needs the treble, you would think. Yeah, good dart, good dart. Good dart. But no, as we say, twice, Van Gogh has left tops to break. Brilliant response from Hamilton, but... Yeah, two yeah. great finishes. 41. Well, that's poor from here. Very, very high standards. He'll know that was a great chance, and maybe the chance has gone for now. Kevin Painter now one away from victory, leading 55. Gilding 8 4. Both of them gone off the ball a little bit here, and this one averages tumbling down to 107. 82. Well, there's some pressure. But every time Hamilton has been under pressure to hold his throw, he's responded, hasn't he? Top stops for Hamilton here. There's one of them. What a shot this would be! 80. Pulled that. Michael Yerimbois, 70. Can he break? He's going to have one dart. One dart, one dart, and tops the break, he's and he does! Well, he, he's been waiting, he's been waiting and waiting for his chance, and finally he gets that chance, a 70 check out. But, only 58. Still to have a leg in this match, go over 15 darts. Very recognisable fist pump from MVG. What a good game this is, though. Again, the magnet, the Tuxton magnet in the treble 19. 96. Great dance from Van Gogh, and he knows how important those two troubles were. A method behind his madness, if you want to put it that way, because look what he's left. 163. 303, the shot was yep. 719 yep. originally for 133 to leave 170. But his first start blocked seven. out. Michael so going for that 19 first, then leaves the option of two trouble 20s to leave the 164. Which he's going to get. 60. At well, least 60. 60. Six starts out. How about this for a latest score over on board two? Dean Win Stanley 4 1 up on the Lakeside World Champion Stephen Bunting. And Kevin Painter is the latest man through to the last 16. He's beaten Andrew Gilding 9 4. What a response from Hamilton. What a perfect time it would be to hit a 180, but that will do. Just puts the pressure on Van Gerwen. No. Last, his last six darts, and he hasn't hit a treble. He was so far ahead in this leg, but Hamilton here can pinch it. They love this. Is the favourite finish of the top pros, isn't it? One, three, six. Two of those at double eight. Doesn't often miss double eight. Oh, that was That's unlucky. Ninety-six. Michael Lebron, forty-eight. Tops. Oh, He's yes. Well, Michael, Michael Van Gerwen is five out of seven. seven. 71 percent on the doubles. And I'll tell you what, Chris, he's had to be that good. Yeah, that is... <laughs> that's right up there. Hamilton. No slouch. Three from five, 60 percent. Well, the only, he's, he's missed the one at Bull, as we mentioned, for a 170, and he missed one, one dart at Tops to allow Van Gerwen to break in the seventh leg. 
137. A really, really high quality game. Van Gerwen, of course, won here on the stage in December. He beat Hamilton on the way to winning the Players' Championship final when he beat uh, Phil Taylor. 99. What a match that was. We'll live long in the memory. 59. Hamilton may use 18s. 180 would be lovely. 121. And even a 140 doesn't leave Van Gogh in a finish. It would have left 165, so six starts. 141 for Hamilton. Normally associated with the magical nine dart leg. 57. Well, only 57. Van Gerwen can really put some pressure on here. We'll stay there. 100. Well, not as much pressure as he wanted, but 84. 84. Crucial visit for Andy Hamilton. Enjoying this. Should get really a dart good at the game. ball. Minimum. Yep, 14 ball. Treble 14, double 11, but yep, he's gone that way. Small adjustment across. 62. Michael Ripa, oh, this could be a game changer if he takes this out. Oh, he's left double 14 and he's got a double 14! A 105 finish! Fantastic from Michael Van Gerwen! That might well be a game changer because Van Gerwen stepped up to the plate. Champion darts from the champion of the world and he's won four consecutive legs. 100. Finishing's been absolutely superb. 54. Well, quality, quality darts here at the UK Open from the world champion. 137. But when he's been pushed, he's responded. Yeah. He was pushed again, and he responded again. Yeah, he's found an answer to every one of Hamilton's 82. questions. Fifty-eight. Still a chance for Hamilton in this leg. A one forty minimum. Yep. Can he rediscover his touch on treble 19? Blocking the bed, going to have to come back up for the 18s. Gets the treble. Oh, I won't see a 180 on this occasion, but treble 18 for double 16. 174. Absolutely fantastic. That was, well, sometimes you just run out of superlative to describe Michael Van Gogh when he's playing like this, but... He, he, when, he, when he is playing like this, he just makes it look ridiculously easy, doesn't he? We're, we're both in here yes, just 32. smiling. It's, you know, it's, it's incredible to watch. But can he win it? Can he finish it? He can. He, he can. And Michael Van Gerwen from 3-2 down. A rueful shake of the head from Andy Hamilton because Van Gerwen there has won five consecutive legs. With some amazing darts. Van Gerwen leads here 7-3 on Saturday afternoon at the UK Open. He's uh, stretching his legs. Five one. He needs 
that one as things stand. We'll keep an eye. Elsewhere, Mark Webster, three to up against Paul Hogan, the qualifier. And of course, with us, how good's this? Van Gerwen. It's just a bit too hot for the hammer. 7-3. Good game over on board two. The hitherto unheralded Dean Wynn Stanley was 5 1 up a short while ago against last night's rescue act Stephen Bunting, but Stephen's nicked a couple of legs back. It's now 5 3. We will, of course, keep you posted. Mark Webster's three swap against Paul Hogan on board four. Meanwhile, on board one, how good has this man been? Just a little too hot in the end, or certainly so far, for the hammer. Seven legs to three, despite Andy's very impressive play. The big lad, the world champ, is very good, very, very good at the moment and has this match how he wants it. Can the Hammer respond? We're about to find out as we rejoin Chris and Stuart. And we remember, Matt, don't we, that Van Gerwen can produce a magnificent, magical spurt of legs, as he did when he beat Phil Taylor on the stage in the Players' Championship final in December. And and when he does, he's very difficult to stop. But from 3-2 down, he's reeled off five consecutive legs with some breathtaking darts. Uh, two away from a place in the last 16. Some big names are through. Wade, Terry Jenkins, Gary Anderson, Raymond Van Barneveld, Mervyn King, Kevin Painter. Uh, Dean Wynn Stanley was 5-1 up on Stephen yeah, Bunting, by the way. Bunting, the Lakeside World Champ, has got it back to 5-4. Understanding as well confirming that Bunting missed double 12 for a nine darter in the first leg of that match and uh, coming up on the main stage 14. the young Phil Taylor conqueror Aidan Kirk will take on Peter Wright and we have an extra game for you on the main stage a bonus game 96. Adrian Lewis who second favorite to win this tournament behind Van Gerwen Lewis will take on Ronnie Hybrex that's a, an extra game on the main stage in the last 32. Ronnie put out uh, Simon Whitlock. 16. Well, that's incredible. That's incredible. He's, he's lost two darts out of the board there. And that, I think, a rueful look and a, a wry smile. Uh, 
that sums I think that it up. was from where he, he actually went into the same hole as the original dart. Yeah. Oh, well, Just, you, that, uh, well, that's 120 gone, isn't it? 120 yep. points. He will continue to battle away. Of that, you can be absolutely sure. Never knows 99. when he's beat. Forty-one. Well, certainly, Van Gerwen has come back after the break. A little lackluster. Yeah, a bit flat. The fizz was gone. Fifty-eight. When Stanley five-one up on Bunting, it's now five-all. Great game over on board two. We'll keep you posted on that. 16. No trebles for Van Gerwen. Can't find a big shot. Oh. Hamilton can, though. Lovely darts. Oh, Lovely darts. A second one, 84. Andy Hamilton. One out of. 40, and he requires 64. Well, double 16 for double eight. Or oh, two single 16s for the double. No, oh, he's missed a big number. Well, he's only going to get one dart now. He's going to have to switch up to tops. Got to get this. Got to get this. 44. Well, is that a critical error for Andy Hamilton? One dart at the ball. Oh, double nine. Oh, that hit the 65. wire sometimes with, with Van Gerwen when he hits the treble like that. You just feel it's going to go. Andy Hamilton, as is always the case, had his back turned. Doesn't watch. He waits for the reaction of the crowd. 11th Andy Hamilton. It's only a hold. the... Stop the five leg run from MVG. Well, he missed one dart though, didn't he, Chris? He had one dart yep. at double nine to make it eight three. And Hamilton has found his way again. He'll always have the will, he's found the way. Can he trouble Michael Van Gerwen? Beautiful, beautiful darts. Mark Webster leading Paul Hogan 5-2. Webster's revival continues. Yep, the last of the Riley's qualifiers after Simon Stevenson. The West Country lab beaten 9-5 by youngster Jamie Lewis. The familiar Michael Van Gerwen celebration. 81. Michael Eden Farr, 103. 103 then, for 8-4. 47. He's made a mess of that. He's yeah. got plenty in hand, though. 50. He's had a few moments in this match where he's gone a little bit missing, but so far he's got away with it. 86, Michael Rupert 56. He's tops. Yeah, good dance from Michael well Van Gerwen. Michael Van Gerwen! He's one away, he leads by eight legs five. to four. And just to remind you, the draw for the last 16, the fifth round, will be coming up live a little later on this afternoon. 177. Good as maximum. Yeah, Hamilton won't give up. 45. He doesn't know how to. Well, 177 from Andy Hamilton to start the leg. That wasn't makeup. That's how most people look after a night at my net. So that's why you look like you do today. Oh, makeup's incredible. <laughs> I 
looked like without makeup. 16. In fact, Gerwin just switched off with this leg now, I think, after the first two visits when he started Pauli and Andy Hamilton hit the 177. Van Gerwen will be, you would think, from here, will be focusing on, on the next leg. Yeah, just getting in, getting the, the mind frame right. Just 134. 124. 124. That's why he hit against Klassen at 8 all last night. Ninety-two. All I, all I could presume is that that first dart from Van Gerwen slipped out of his hand. To stay in the match, to keep scrapping away. Double sixteen. That's awkward. Got to move across. Has to move right across. Out of his comfort zone, can he find a way? Oh, a what a good dart! What Andy a good dart, Andrew Hamilton! Fifty-seven. Well, now then, an opening. Not over yet, is it? Bunting takes the lead. Versus Win Stanley, 6 5. Well, look at this. There's the. Van Gerwen needing a big score here. He's going to get a big score oh, here. No, 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 no. <laughs> right off the queue. <laughs> it's almost like he sort of switches off and sort of daydreams for a little bit and then yeah. just flicks the switch. W w we've seen that, haven't we? Just loses concentration, focus for a leg or so, or sometimes. Mark a Webster, 34. World Championships, yeah. he did it, didn't he? Sometimes a set and. Fifty-eight. Here we go. He's probably thinking about what he's going to spend all his money on. Needs a one forty. Needs two big trebles. Anyway, we'll have to switch to treble nineteen here. Fifty-eight. One hundred. Only a hundred. You'll be disappointed. Second dart. It was a good lie for another one to follow. But what one eighty is the minimum required from requirement from Hamilton. And then hope Van Gerwen doesn't take out the one oh six. I think he's pretty much home and hosed. Six starts at one oh six, Jim. Well can we finish the job? Six. Well, he's left double ten for the match. Can we finish it off at the next visit? Or can Andy Hamilton put some pressure on and, and just hope that Van Gerwen misses and he can pinch it? Well, there will be pressure on it. There will be Nine some nine. pressure. Michael, you this for the match, for the favourite, the tournament favourite. Double ten. Yeah, it is. Sure and the Michael Van Gerwen. Michael Van Gerwen. Three two down. Produced a blistering display of darts. Five legs on the spin in the end is what did for Andy Hamilton. And Michael Van Gerwen takes his place in the draw for the last 16 here in Minehead. An average of 100 and a win by nine legs to five.